Amberlin, the culinary virtuoso, begins her gastronomic masterpiece by wielding a gleaming knife with the precision of a surgeon. With each deliberate slice, the onions fall victim to her culinary prowess. The anticipation in the air is palpable as the onions hit the hot, sizzling pan alongside the ground meat, creating a harmonious sizzle that could rival a top-tier orchestra. As the aroma of caramelized onions wafts through the air, Amberlin's hands move with a grace that can only be attributed to years of kitchen mastery. It's time to unveil her secret weapon, the reduced sodium black beans, destined to be the star filling of her lettuce wraps. With a dramatic flair, she pops open a can of these black gems, carefully draining them before adding them to the medley. The black beans, glistening like precious jewels, now join the meat and onions, creating a symphony of colors and flavors. But what's a masterpiece without a grand finale? It's time, and the stage is set for the assembly of these culinary marvels. With a flourish, Amberlin demonstrates how to transform a simple lettuce leaf into a vessel of culinary artistry. She fills each leaf with the aromatic mixture of cooked meat and beans. And as she does, she encourages you to dream big. And cheese, she exclaims, sour cream, guacamole, or salsa, the world is your canvas. And then, the piece de resistance, a dash of sriracha sauce, drizzled with the precision of a painter adding the final brush stroke to a masterpiece. It's the secret ingredient that elevates these wraps from ordinary to extraordinary. A spicy crescendo that sends your taste buds on a thrilling roller coaster ride. In the world of Amberlin Reed, every meal is an adventure, and every bite tells a story. So, join her on this Epicurean escapade and experience the magic of taco lettuce wraps like never before. Your taste buds will thank you, and your culinary dreams will know no bounds. Instead of using oil, I'm just gonna add some water. Now, I'm going to open the can. I add a little bit of water and then I drain them obviously. So for the shell, I'm going to be using these. I have to pull it out of the bag. Okay. So see that? And you just put your meat and beans or whatever you want to put in there. Um, I think I'm going to do two of them. So that's how that looks. So now to my ground chicken, I'm just going to add the taco seasoning. Now, you just fill it up. Obviously, you can add cheese or if you want sour cream or uh, guacamole, salsa. You can do those things. It's a little messy, but beans. I kind of wish I had a uh, like tapatio or something. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sriracha. Go. Tacos without using shells. Amber begins by introducing her ensemble of ingredients, each a note in the culinary symphony about to unfold. Ground turkey, brown rice, chicken broth, reduced sodium sriracha sauce, hunt sauce boasting the aromatic fusion of basil, garlic, and oregano, reduced sodium black beans, minced garlic, corn, garlic powder, minced onions, pepper, and the fragrant allure of Italian seasoning, a blend of basil and parsley. With culinary alchemy, Amber takes center stage. Ground turkey sizzles in the pan without the need for added oil. It's natural oils creating a tantalizing melody of sizzles and pops, and it's cooked until it achieves the perfect shade of golden brown, a visual symphony that tickles the senses. Meanwhile, a cauldron bubbles with promise. As Amber composes her soup base, chicken broth forms the soulful base, mingling with minced garlic, garlic powder, pepper, minced onions, and the fragrant notes of basil parsley Italian seasoning. 
brown rice, a hearty companion, joins the ensemble, lending its nutty aroma to the mix. Reduced sodium black beans and rinsed corn make their grand entrance, followed by a dash of reduced sodium sriracha sauce, infusing the composition with a crescendo of heat and flavor. As the timer approaches, it's time for the grand fusion. Amber introduces the cooked ground turkey to the simmering soup base, and as the two elements intertwine, their flavors harmonize, creating a symphony of tastes that promises to be unforgettable. The soup boils once more, like a crescendo building towards a climactic finale. Now, as the anticipation reaches its zenith, Amber lifts the lid of the simmering pot, and the aroma that escapes is nothing short of enchanting. She notes that the soup, thickened by the rice, is far from brothy, a result of her culinary preference. Yet, she generously offers variations, suggesting that those who desire a more brothy or chili-like consistency can savor the dish at this juncture. As the soup continues its gentle simmer for another few minutes, it transforms into a rich, comforting rice dish. A rice dish. Ah, who cares? I'll just go on. Its flavors deepening and melding like the harmonious chords of a symphony. At last, it's time for the finale, the taste test, with a spoonful of rice as well. So now we're gonna add the sauce. So for the black beans, I like to rinse mine. So I put them in a strainer. And then I turn on the cold water and I rinse them for about 30 seconds. I just keep tossing them like this. Beans are in. So as for the corn, I do rinse it a little bit. Uh, I strain the water a bit. But I don't add this whole can. This is a mini can, but I still don't add the whole thing. So just add however much you want. So it's about half a can. And then of course, the sriracha. So by this time, your turkey should be done. I like to cook mine until it's very brown, as you can tell, like that piece right there. That's just how I like it. <laughs> so we're gonna turn this up again. It already boiled once, but you want it to boil again. And after it's done boiling again, that's when you're gonna add the turkey in there and then you're gonna let it simmer for however long that you want it to be cooked for. It is starting to boil. So I'm going to add the ground turkey now. Stir. It smells amazing and it looks amazing. It's super simple, but it tastes really, really good. So now that it's boiling again, I'm gonna turn this off a high and I'm gonna put it on a little bit above medium. So then it's gonna start simmering and I'll probably have it cook for probably 20 minutes so everything can get cooked real good, marinate with each other. I always say marinate because that's literally the word that I come up with when I think about all of them. Just, you know, getting along together in a pot. <laughs> So it's been about 10 minutes, and this is how it's looking so far. Uh, with this recipe, sometimes I like it to be more brothy, and sometimes I like the broth to kind of disappear. And I think with this way, because I added more rice than I usually do, there is going to be less broth when it is complete, because I want it to cook for probably 5 to 10 more minutes, and it'll be more so like a rice dish. But again, if you want yours to be more on the broth side or more on the chili side or the soup side, then you could eat it right now. It would be really good, but I think I want mine to have less broth today. All right, you guys. It is complete. I don't know about you, but it looks so good. And now I'm going to go try it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I have made this before, but... If you cook, you know nothing you make twice ever tastes the same. We're gonna do a little taste test. Hot. For me, this is one of the best things I've ever made. I recommend this. I know a lot of people will like stuff like this. I know summer's coming up, like Amberlynn, I should be cooking more summery foods. But when it comes to clothing and when it comes to food, I'm kind of like always stuck in winter, you know? Tacos that aren't at all tacos. And soup that's not really a soup. Levels bro, levels to the game. Who else could have done that? No one. I even forgot what I was commenting about. The dishes took a turn real quick, leaving me in the dark. I thought I was dreaming. I'm so sure I was promised a soup. But what the fuck was that at the end? 